1998, and there was, um, I was invited to a dinner party that was for Patrick in Boulder Creek, California, which is just outside of Santa Cruz. And um, he was in town to do a lecture in San Francisco. I didn't know who he was, but um, a mutual friend who was throwing the dinner party invited me, and I had heard all kinds of wild things about him. And um, I came to the party. Uh, there were a lot of people there, and you know, it's like, well, where is this guy? You know, and. Uh, and there, through the crowd at this at the Goddess Temple, which is where the dinner party was, um, was Patrick. And and uh, I have to admit, when I first laid eyes on him, there was a glow. There was this, first I saw the glow, and then I saw the form. I stayed in the background. There was that was that was the first encounter. And um, he that was like October of. 98 and he came back to town around Thanksgiving and um, again I was invited to something that was happening there at the Goddess Temple. I had a little bit of a, a conversation with him and he had been told that I'm the woman that's into the Mayan calendar and he had shown an interest in that and so um, that was Thanksgiving. In between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I had gotten a phone call from him, and he wanted to know about the Mayan calendar. That's right. That was the, and that meant a lot to me, and I also thought it was very interesting. Here's this man with all this knowledge and interest in so many things, and he wants to know about the Mayan calendar. And Christmas was coming up. That was, again, it was, you know, I, again, I play, I just was another person in the crowd um, in those two uh, evenings. So now it's Christmas time, and I had received guidance not to make any plans for Christmas. I was single, I was living in Santa Cruz with friends, um, and I was making plans for Christmas, and then I just got this dictation, no, no plans, do not lock yourself into anything. And I, um, and it was sort of unnerving because I, it's nice to have plans for Christmas, you know, rather than none. And um, I did see my family on Christmas Day, and then I came back to Santa Cruz, and it was the day after, and a pile of, or a cord of wood was being delivered to our friend's house. And we were planning, my friends and I were planning on going to LA that day, later on, driving to LA for something going on that I wanted to be part of. And, um, but the wood had arrived, and I love physical labor. And so I started um, sorting the wood and working and it was cold and I was um, just doing that and all of a sudden a voice said to me, get in the car and go to the Goddess Temple. And this is really, I'm not embellishing on this, it's just how it was. I was told to get in the car and go there. And I didn't even think it was odd or didn't question it. I just got in the car and drove what was like maybe uh, five minutes to where Penny Slinger's home, known as the Goddess Temple was, and I pulled up and Penny's car wasn't there and there was only one car and it was very quiet and this is a very sort of an estate and, and it's in the Redwoods, it's very beautiful, very private and I was looking around like why am I here and I walked up to the front door and just as I was to knock on the door, the door opened and there was Dr. Patrick Flanagan. And I was as much of a shock to him as he was to me. And um, it was kind of exciting and funny. And what are you doing here? Well, what are you doing here? It turns out that he had been driving for about 17 hours straight from Sedona to Penny's to spend the week um, there and, and for New Year's and, and uh, partake in all the activities that go on there. And I said, well, I'm leaving for LA. And Patrick said, no, wait, um, why don't you be my date for this week and stay with me here and, and enjoy what's going on here. And I, you know, I was excited about what was going on in LA and I was sort of scratching my head like, you know, I can't do that. And um, he just so happened to have a biography on his life nearby. 
and he, because I really did, still didn't know very much about him except wild stories of things that he had done in the past. And so he handed me the biography and he said, take this book, thumb through it, think about it. And uh, I'd love it if you'd come back. So I took the book and I went back to our friends, my friend's house, and um, thumb through the book, packed my bags, went back to the Goddess Temple. And we, in a way, we were never parted again after that.